Welcome, Welcome back, back to the, the Cruise Brothers, Brothers React. Listen, bro. I got a lot to say. This is going to be the last episode of Korra, so I got to say it now. This is the last episode of Korra? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were watching something else. But yeah, guys, we're back for some Korra. I didn't know we were back for some Korra. See, this the is finale, the finale. Man. Maybe we're here. Yeah. We made it. And guys, we made it. You know, I've been, I've been talking about this with the Patreon comments and people in the Discord, but... <clears throat> and people have been commenting on it about me not liking Korra as a fighter. Here I, listen, we bro, go. I just want to say this. It, it's not it's not about like the the fighting in Korra in general being like stale or anything cuz there's a lot of people in Korra who use unique techniques like they did in the original Atla. Korra as a fighter herself is trash, bro. Every time she fights it winds down to her punching and kicking elements. That's her that's her thing. That's how she fights. People were saying that Korra was more powerful than Aang. Maybe in raw strength, I guess. But in terms of skills and technique, she does nothing with her elements. And she got thrashed by Kovira for it. Listen, bro, people have been bringing up the excuse. Oh, you know, I, I think you're, you're complaining about the writers not having enough time or whatever. No, I'm judging the final product of the show. Anything that happened with the writers is... On them. <laughs> obviously... What? It's on them, you know? We're judging the show as it is, you know? We're judging it what it is for, you know? Exactly, bro. <laughs> we, us, us as viewers, we have no control over, like, what the fuck Nickelodeon decided or whatever. Obviously, it's not the writer's fault. But if you go to an ice cream shop and your most hated flavor is fucking chocolate ice cream, and all they have is chocolate ice cream, and they're gonna be like, I'm, yo, I want a vanilla. I'm sorry, we only have chocolate. Okay. I'm not gonna sit there and enjoy the shit, but I'm also not gonna blame the cashier, but I'm not gonna sit there and enjoy the fucking ice cream that I hate. Period. And that's the analogy I was thinking about for you the shit. You thought about that one. I thought about that one. <laughs> and no, and I was going back and I was looking at the fights in, in, in Avatar, bro. And I was just seeing all the crazy shit they will do, bro. And it's not like that unique style of bending is not in Korra because it is. The most recent fight that we saw with Lin Bei Fong? She was metal armor. I, I bring that fact up because someone was saying the old style of fighting in Atla wouldn't be relevant in this day and age with the techn technological advancements in their society. 
but that's not true because we've seen it done by other fucking people time and time again. Korra does not know any of these techniques. She just fights basic. Throughout the entire series, you cannot tell me she does not fight basic with her elements. That's why I have trouble respecting her as an avatar. And that's why it's so fucking frustrating to see her take so many L's for whatever excuse, whether it's the PTSD, whether it's the fucking her having poison inside of her. Whatever excuse it is that she's taking these L's, it's frustrating because it doesn't seem like she's progressed at all. And people say this show is not about her learning the elements, which is funny because she's already supposed to have mastered all the elements, but yet she's doing dumb and basic attacks. I just don't understand uh, it, bro. Okay. We've seen characters use you... elements for movement. We've seen characters use elements for in different ways that were just crazy. Do you remember how Katara used her waterbending? She would freeze people's feet. I, I was just watching this fight, bro. Zuko versus Katara. Katara freezes Zuko's feet and traps them in a fucking ball of ice, bro. Remember when she froze herself in Azula and escaped right, the trap? We all know what is just way more unique and i'm not saying there isn't unique bending in cora but cora herself does not show any of these skills and that's why i hate watching her fight bro okay so now that the negative nancy's out of the way i'm gonna play good cop bad cop here and i'm gonna be the good cop let's talk about things about cora that i thought that i was probably too harsh on but there were some things that i i thought rethought about that are interesting so um you know, Korra goes through this whole PTSD thing, and it's a big deal, because let's bring back the facts that Korra's probably the one of the only avatars. I'm not going to say that, because a lot of the avatars went through their things, right? But a lot of the avatars in the past have gone through, what, one one crazy, like, thing? Like, I'm not saying that Aang, only one enemy was Sozin, but that was his big fight thing, or, you know, that's probably the one thing that had the most trauma on him, or whatever, blah, 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 blah. That was his big fight. Think about all the things Korra's went through. She's gone through fucking mad different, like, it's like she's been through a lot more than most avatars in the short span of time. Yeah, and I have no problem with them. Right, so I, I have no it problem. makes sense of her PTSD thing. And yes, I know you're going to say you have no problem with the PTSD thing, but the no, way that they yeah, portrayed it. I have no problem with them exploring that shit. Um, all right, man. We don't want to go into the negative things. Let me kill it. Let me finish, man. Because like, before oh, yeah, you keep go, going to go. the negative I'm things, I'm not saying anything negative. I'm saying that's right. Yeah. Okay. So that. that's that's pretty interesting. Um. Uh, the whole thing. Uh, this season, uh, with Kuvira. Um, actually, no. Let me not even talk about Kuvira. We're talking about Core here uh, specifically, because what, what from what you're saying, most of the things you were being negative about her was her. Uh, just her fighting capabilities and Which, like, can i add one more thing to that yeah when she was fighting covera all right she was going through that pts thing thing uh but what's annoying to me is that the way Cora was fighting was the same fucking way she fought in every fight that i've seen her in she wasn't at 100 percent. she wasn't at 100 percent. but the only time where she saw a flash that you know was her ptsd thing was when she went into the avatar state 
and she saw herself in Covera. And that happened. The rest of the fight, she seemed fine. She seemed like she was doing the same shit, the same fighting style she used for all she of her She hasn't fights. trained in a couple years. Explain this to me then. Why the fuck was she not metal bending in that fight at all? What was there to metal bend? The metal plates that Covera was throwing at her. Covera was throwing metal plates at her and restraining her wrist and throwing her around like a ragdoll. Co you know what's funny? Cora no, no, never, no, listen, it's one Cora more thing, never one more mastered thing. metal bending. One more thing. <laughs> That's funny that you say that. Because the next episode after that Covera fight, they're on the train rescuing the Earth Prince. And she's throwing the metal plates that the fucking metal, the, the, the metal benders are throwing at her. She's like this. She's maneuvering the metal plates that are all being right, thrown at right, her. She right. never did that all in the fight. All right, all right. What is with this writing, bro? Please, why does she not use metal bending there? She got scraped for what? And and, and I mean, you know what's even, funny? Even no, no, with no. the metal bending, do you do you really think she could have won? She couldn't have won without Avatar State. She was nowhere near as skilled as Kovir was. Exactly, and that's the point. She has no skills, bro. She was Cora she hadn't is, trained though. She hadn't trained she for that long. She trained bro. with all the elements, and that's the point people were making. She be, as soon as the series started. She already knew how to produce the elements as a kid. She was being trained throughout that whole time, and she was obviously would, yeah, started older than Aang. The, the, the her fighting, the it's not even about Korra as well. Yeah, it is Korra as a character's fighting capability because it's the writers who make her seem that way. But you know, like um, I mean, she she was freaking. She, I will say this: Korra doesn't use her um her bending. Um, very tactfully and is kind of like the that's what I mean. but that's just a character thing it's like you can't you can't put it on it, the whole no no listen people say they wanted Korra to be different from Aang I think it's stupid ass writing that they would want Korra to be so different that she would not use optimal fighting tactics that were used in the past it makes no sense it makes no sense because every other bender who's experienced in this universe uses tactics like that and we've seen them use those fucking tactics bro so Korra is is not a good fighter, in my opinion. She's not skilled, I, and it's not I, fun. I would, to, it's I not still, fun. I would it's still not... argue that she, like, like I said, she didn't train for a long time. And also, the you were bringing up a point I saw in the Patreon about how when she was even fighting um, um, Zaheer and she got beat up by Zaheer, she wasn't at hundred percent fighting Zaheer either. Yeah, she wasn't a hundred percent like, like fighting she's, Zaheer. She's handicapped for most of these fights, and it's not her fault. It's the writer's fault because they put her in these freaking in these scenarios. They make well her Korra, underwhelming as an avatar, I guess. Cora got captured to begin with, you know. Cora got captured to begin with. <laughs> Alright, man, whatever. Bro, but listen, I, bro, that's I, enough debate, guys. We did the whole good cop bad times. There's a lot more things that I thought was good, and I've I've said in previous episodes about the like actual arcs and them having their um their moments and their they don't their they have their moments and they have a good story. It's just not very well done because of other factors that tie into it you know we acknowledge these these things so when you guys say or if anybody says that we don't acknowledge the fact that the writers didn't have enough time with these seasons yes we do acknowledge the fact and yes we know that it could have been a lot better but in the end of the day it wasn't exactly so <laughs> if we're not we're not gonna give it a pass just because of the circumstances i'm sorry i know I, I feel like that's what people want us to do give it a pass because of the circumstances no we're gonna judge the show how it is and how it's being presented to us as viewers we're not responsible for what the fuck goes on behind the scenes we're just watching the show and we're we're telling you what we don't like and about. with that said let's get straight into the episode we're back whoa, whoa, where are you going i'm going <clears> to get some help you think you can handle this unruly mob for a little while i raised milo i can handle anything he don't know who milo is <laughs> Oh, here we go, Milo. I just got an idea how to beat the giant. Now everyone, grab Are you just busting through the door? <laughs> Steal the paint cape. Steal the paint paint cans. Come on, man. The world is about to be on the verge of destruction. <laughs> this is funny. Right, it's the city. I like that it was Milo to do it. Oh yeah, Milo. Milo's smart thinker, bro. I don't he's know, fast man. He's thinker. Evil. Look at him. What what the fuck did this guy? Yo, they he's got, got freaking a plan, um, bro. paint balloons, bro. They're gonna paint the windows. That robot looks slow as hell, like it's mad easy to dodge. <laughs> For real. But that, little, that blast is big as hell, though. But you notice how they always dodge it, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think they should have dodged it easier than that. They dodged it just big, barely. Yo. You need precision. To they can't like remember. That. They they're not really flying. They're gliding. They can have only so much control. What the fuck? Milo is the captain Yo, right look now. Look at Milo. This is his plan. This is his plan, Chris. <laughs> look at this, bro. Yo, Milo's little ass. Even kid Milo plan. has more tactics than Cora. Come so. on, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Tenses children probably are like really actual airbenders, bro. True airbenders who use like the they got water <laughs> in the case. Oh shit! That's look funny. at Tenzin, yo. Here we go. Oh, the let's see if he come out through it. Hell yeah. Let's go, Bolin. Yo, Bolin. Yo, he's never. Oh, you shit. Got him, bro. You made him trip. Yo, make that yo, robot this, trip. Yo, they're going in right now. I like this, bro. This Hell is yeah. this is what uh, two benders could do working together. Here we go. Come on, Cora. I'm looking at Cora critically see, yo, now. She about to do some tactics, bro. She about to, nah, about just to shut your ass up. Blast. There's, not much, there's not much tactics you can do against a big-ass robot, Oh, they're bro. about to knock it over. Look. It's a good plan. They need, and like, he got his foot stuck yeah. in the lava, too. They need team tactics for this. Let's see what Kovir is going to do, though. Oh, she about to cut that. Oh, shit. She doing... Dang. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That shit was hot. Oh, shit. That was a cool-ass shot, too. This music's on point, too. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. They, they couldn't can knock him down. They can't do too much. Oh, shit. Recharge. <laughs> Damn, they, yo, she got mad bullets of them They shit. probably got mad plants or something. Yeah, I'm saying that. She got <laughs> mad ammo. Yo, that shit just fucking flickered the whole screen. <laughs> yo, this animation, bro, is Come on, on man. some finale, finale shit. shit. Yeah, this finale is some finale shit. shit. I would always argue that, man. Cora has better animation. Yeah, Cora's been consistent with the animation for sure. Yo. They're so close got to away, dying, bro. bro. Damn, that animation was on point. It's crazy, bro. They're the only ones fighting this robot. Fucking, uh, Think about that it. That was like some Cloverfield. They're shit. the only ones because everyone else surrendered. They have no fucking army. It's just them. They got Varric though, bro. He's making new inventions out oh, here to fight Oh, that's Asami's inventions, isn't it? Oh, I guess. But Varric's helping, though. <laughs> Yo, look at this new robot. Shit, kid. What is this, bro? They're trying to make flying robots out here. Really? It's gonna be bullshit, bro. I know, I was gonna say some dumb shit. Named her Mrs. Beeks. Here we go. Did I ever tell you that, Julie? Before the... Took me away. I mean, what? get to the point, Varric. <laughs> the circus people. Look, he's gonna get to the but point here. He's trying to sing a whole freaking story, bro. Okay, I hope this works. Oh shit! And Varric is a god. Damn. <laughs> they really had to hit that line. <laughs> she hit that shit, bro. When Julie says that, bro, we're, they're fucked. <laughs> These are not children. Hey, great job, everybody. Who's got another song for us? We can't just sit around here singing old airbender songs until we're all captured, or worse. Should we play the button game? Who has a button? Fucking <laughs> dumb. The Badger Moles. Oh, shit. They brought up the moles. The original Earthbenders. <laughs> Where did these Badger Moles come from? <clears throat> Avatar State, baby. And remember, she's she's back to 100. Yo, she's back to 100, Johnny. This is what you wanted. Let's see, let's see what Kakora do, could do at 100. Because we haven't seen her at 100 in a minute. She ain't doing much when she was at 100 Yo, before. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, well, but she's an avatar state. That's cheating. No, it's not cheating because oh, she wait, lost no, all not. her she's not. She's not. She's not an avatar state. Exactly. She only uses it for... She, she's nasty with avatar state. Trust me. Pro level avatar state usage. Yeah, she only wins with She can use avatar it whenever state. she wants. That's the only time she wins, though. <laughs> no, because she does it in, in certain times, bro, when she needs it. <laughs> Look at it. That's all her, bro. 
fuck you sleeping on her? <laughs> well, she's throwing bigger rocks now, okay? Yeah. That's it. Ooh, but look at the yeah, airbenders. Yeah, that shit was hot. <coughs> Good shit, guys. <laughs> he just taunting her. Yeah, Milo is the go, oh, bro. He about to, oh, Milo, you yeah, better yeah. stop messing around. Milo's dead. Oh, what are you doing, Milo? You almost got Janora fucked up. Oh, that was shit. close, bro. Good fucking save, Tenzin. Oh, and Milo with the save for Tenzin. Come on, use the fart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the fart so bad. Damn, Milo's realizing this shit got real. Bro, this he kid almost, doesn't he know anything up about there, war. But he, he did save. He made up for it. Save Tenzin. Yo, Bolin ain't playing, bro. This man Bolin? is Where's Marco, on another bro? level, bro. Yo, Why he's Marco past Mako's level. That's it. Mako has not been getting any progress for, for a real? minute. <laughs> Yo, look at Bolin, Bolin bro. Is literally on Did another level. Did you see level. his face? Yo, he literally tipped the whole building. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bolin saved the day, Yo, bro. Bolin took out the fucking shit in the end. Better be planning something, bro. The running yo, the badger most in the life. The badger most hated their singing. Oh no, they're about to hit, yo. They're about to attack them, bro. The Earth King did it. Pre Master prediction. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Thing for the rest of our lives. Are you serious this time at least? Yes. Will you do yes. the thing for the rest of our lives? <laughs> that ring looks weird yeah, though. Yeah, they did it. Varric finally confessed his love. That's so dumb. Oh man, That's what funny. a fucking weird ass relationship. <laughs> One I can never reach. Why do you guys say the weirdest shit? Bro, he said it so she can understand, bro. She knows. Always, she always knows reference the, the... like real life things in their, you know. I think someone said something about that in comments. <laughs> yeah, they thought they could have reached there. He could reach there. You have to find another spot. They keep trying to fucking. These things are like pests. Yeah, yeah, they're like actual mosquitoes. For real. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Almost there. This is it. It's over for her dad. This is where he dies. We have to go now. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, bro. He fucked up. Yeah, he he did it for the team though. Dad, now. Goodbye, he knows, man. What the fuck? You about to self destruct some shit? No, he oh, ejected. Lost her, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Damn. crazy, yo. Damn. Okay. That's Powerful scene up. there. Hiroshi's plan worked. There's our opening. You better Damn, fucking no not let his death be in vain. For real, bro. Get your ass in there. Yo, Kubira, look at her, bro. She's mad scared. Okay, okay. Oh! There you go. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, they did it! Now, what you gonna do? They're inside your mech. Can't do nothing when they're inside they're the mech. Huh? She's gonna about to stick her finger in there. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Pretty good episode, man. Damn, her fucking father came through with the clutch, man. Lost yeah, his life. I already knew he was gonna lose his life as soon as he came into this fucking fight. Like, it, it, it was meant to be. Like, this is his... 
his redemption, but his punishment for all the sins he's committed. <laughs> <laughs> like and it was, I thought it was cool though too that um because if you think about it the fact um what, what he did and his sins or his uh his his um what is it um his offenses to the uh, the Republic City was that he tried to join forces with Amon to eliminate all bending because he, yeah. he believed that bending should be you know not there whatever blah blah but at the end of the day he still wanted it the best Republic City and you know I thought it was cool that he was like. You know, I would never do anything to like, like I, I want to like preserve Republic City as well. You know, or I want to do my part. So pretty much, man. You know, yeah, he had a good redemption. You know? Yeah, they, he they, did. They, I like how they, um, you know, they started. Him... They started with the scene where Sami visited him. Yeah, and... they, they, they pretty much, um, <clears throat> just you know prepared it all in this season, like they from the beginning season to the end here. It's fucked up for Sami though, yo. The Sami's been through so much shit, bro. That's so fucked up, though. Like, mm-hmm. seriously, they were just, she just getting, Yeah, she just got just a relationship back again. with her yeah. bad dad, and now she lost him. Why are they so. doing a Sami like this, bro? That's fucked up. Wow. Now she literally has no one. Like, she don't got she's a boyfriend. Got her friends. She don't got a boyfriend. She don't got a dad. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> Anyways, bro. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, I, I liked how... You know, I felt like Core was not using, like... She still didn't really do anything crazy. So well, yeah, like, she didn't do anything crazy, but so I, hate... I can't. I can't even give her any redemption yet because she has not done anything too crazy. She's done okay stuff. But no, it, it's just. Well, I'll defend that and say like, well, first of all, let me say that I I, I haven't seen her use like the ice too much. Yeah, I mean, I guess she I used why. that finally, but like that's not even like too crazy. But ice is still. But like it's a, still. Like... It's still. Yeah, it's still something. You know. Ice is still like an element to um, fucking. But water. I still was wanting more from her this episode so you know but, you know i don't I, think we're gonna get what we want from her um yeah i don't think finale. so but, or maybe we will because she's about to go head to head with covera bro yeah but she, um, she, I, yeah i do want to see that rematch they need to do that rematch and you know obviously she yeah has to th- win, this so. whole this whole mech thing didn't count because it's just a big ass mech bro when like, they do that rematch watch listen. watch her do everything that you said <laughs> and watch her do everything that you said she did it listen bro uh, Team Avatar, the original, never went up against anything like this. This is a big ass monster, bro. Like the the, the most uh, correlated thing I could think of was that big ass drill that um, exactly. Azula so, came again, in with. We go back to the point where this this Avatar has had the most stress out of all Avatars, bro. She's but about to saying, have all hair. Fall I'm just out. saying. I'm She's just gonna saying, die early age. She's not gonna make it. She has I'm just, too much stress on her. I'm just saying this is a threat you wouldn't see in the original Avatar because of the technology advancements. So it is different. But now that she has the opportunity to go head to head with Kovera, she better not fucking disappoint me, bro. I promise you, I'm gonna I mean, be she's mad. Obviously not. Like she's gonna fucking. Well, I mean, she still could disappoint if the fight is not what it is, um, lives up to be, or if it's not at least better than the previous fight. She, but she's gotta redeem herself, right, from that fight she had with her. Yeah, so she that obviously was... will and will win. But I'm just saying, the the fight better be way better than what we saw in the first fight. So that's all I'll say. With with yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with it, um, because she's being she, yeah, she... Uh, choreography or an emotional moment, something better. Because happen. in the story, she's she's over her. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's she's over it, but you know, she's way better than she was, right? Well, before with her trauma or whatever. So, I'm trying to see it, bro. I'm trying to see um, Cora go in. But yeah, man, um, it was a good episode. I really liked Milo's part. Yeah, I really like how I mean, he painted the I fucking. I like the movie. the whole Airbender's um involvement in that uh, fight with the Morobot. Also you, loved you, Bolin, you, uh, you know, doing some MVP shit. For about real, him. yo, that scene Bolin was Bolin was like. But ah. yo, let me tell you right now, Zuko is a disappointment this whole season. Zuko, you mean uh, I, I Mako? mean Zuko? My bad, Mako. Yeah, Mako has been a disappointment this whole season. Where is From he begin- right now? Listen, just think about it. From beginning to end, what has Mako done throughout the season? Chill with the Earth King. That's it. <laughs> that motherfucker had no shine whatsoever. But where I I don't remember where he is. I'm not sure where he is right now, but the motherfucker ain't there. I'll tell you that. At least the motherfucker didn't get no screen time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Um besides that, again, Cora, I think all she really did was um throw big rocks. She did use yeah, the exactly. fire to propel herself, which is something reminiscent of all the avatar ang- techniques. The, yeah, ang- and and you got to think too. Also, she like a lot of the things she was doing. She wasn't technically in avatar state at the whole time. So that's one thing that you can say that she yeah. was doing very. Uh, Which was weird. Like, why did she go to avatar state and then come back out of it? 
bro, she's nice like that, bro. If you think about it, man, why did Aang die? <clears throat> I saw somebody in the comments saying Aang died because he used his avatar state too much and it, and it exhausted him and he died at early age because of that. I saw somebody say something about that. No, no, I, no. There's no truth. No, to that's, that. that's, not, that's not the theory. The theory is that because of being frozen for 100 years, it started to take a toll on him after being defrosted, you know? He couldn't live past a certain age because um the effects of being frozen for 100 years. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I think it was somebody said something about that. I have him using Avatar State so much. Um, but yeah, but anyway. I, I, the reason. Just, it just, I just bring that up because Kara has a, like a, a very good mastery on Avatar State that probably uh, most Avatars didn't have at her age. Well, yeah. It's hard. It's just hard for me to give credit to um, uh, Kara when she goes into the Avatar State because the Avatar State to me always felt like this, like otherworldly yeah but then you gotta add to the fact that the avatar state isn't what it used to be right now yeah, it's yeah, true, it's true. chorus that's <laughs> it it's hers that's true. she uses it bro and she has no past knowledge it's just all she, anything that she knows and just extra power i guess this avatar state gives her well no it's that, like her super saiyan for the avatar state is brava bro that's brava's power too right so, so she's it's not just her Right, it's not just her, but at the same time, it's she doesn't have the knowledge of all the past avatars. Yeah. So she only but knows she, what she knows and what she's learned. But she clearly gets a power up because of the spirit thing, the Brava thing. So you know, it's avatar still, state in itself is a power up. Yes, it's still so. a little bit cheating. That's why I don't like to give her too much credit for it. But like I said, you see her turn it on and turn it off. She doesn't ob abuse the power. So she's used. If you can say that she's using that avatar state more tactically tactfully than any of the avatar asshole all right i guess i don't know but you know it doesn't it doesn't change everything i said at the beginning of i don't know but anyway really yeah doesn't. guys we still have to see the finale we'll see you guys in the next episode it's a good episode like we said you guys already know what to do like comment subscribe pledge to the patreon if you want to see these reactions in full length and we'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves and peace